Hello, this is a video about question text. Let's begin. A question tag is a small question at the end of a statement. So, you create a yes-no question at the end of a statement. Question tags are used when asking for agreement or confirmation. In a question tag, a positive statement is followed by a negative question tag. Look at the example. You are a student, aren't you? So here, you need to put a comma before a question tag. And a positive statement, you are a student, then followed by a negative question tag, aren't you? A subject pronoun comes after an auxiliary or a form of the verb to be. The positive is you are, then the negative becomes aren't you in a question tag. And then a negative statement is followed by a positive question tag. Mary isn't a teacher, is she? A negative statement, Mary isn't a teacher, and a positive question tag, is she? Look at the negative, Mary isn't. Then, it becomes, is she in a question tag? A subject pronoun is used to replace the noun or noun phrase. So we change Mary into she. And here we have intonation and meaning. Intonation is the rise and fall of the voice in speaking. Well, the intonation of a question text shows the exact meaning of it. So, we have rising intonation. If the intonation of the question text goes up, it means you are not sure and you want to know the answer. John doesn't speak Spanish, does he? That's the rising intonation. While the following intonation, if the intonation of the question tag goes down, it means you are checking or confirming information or making conversation. John doesn't speak Spanish, does he? Alright, now we move to the form of positive question tags. If the statement is in negative, then the question tag is in positive. The very examples are using the verb to be and the next using auxiliary verb to in present and past and then the next Examples are using the auxiliary verbs have and also with the modal verbs. And remember, statements using barely, hardly, neither, no, nobody, none, nothing, and seldom are treated as negative statements like the examples. Nobody went to the meeting, did they? Nothing is ready. Is it? Next, move to negative question text. When the statement is in positive, then the question tag is in negative. The first using the verb to be and the next examples are using present simple and
past simple and that's why the auxiliary or the negative question text uh, use do, does or did and the last using auxiliary have and modal verbs look at the exceptions and the negative question text All right, next. You also have to be careful with these examples. Alright, now we go to practice. There are 10 questions and you need to uh, complete with the question text. I give you some minutes to do the practice. Later, uh, you can see the answers. Okay, time's up, then you can check the answers. Well, I guess that's all everyone. Thank you so much and see you in the next video.